you find yourself in a dimly lit space, struggling to open your eyes amidst the encompassing darkness. The air is damp, and an unpleasant odor fills the atmosphere. As you explore your surroundings through touch, you notice the walls are covered in a strange slime, pulsating as if they have a life of their own. Oddly enough, just an hour ago, you were on a yacht, enjoying the breeze tousling your hair as it sailed through the open ocean. Join us Cosmic Journey what to do if you are swallowed by a giant whale. Now, you're faced with the mystery of your current predicament. Could it be a result of a shipwreck, or perhaps a confrontation with a sea monster that has left you submerged in this eerie environment? Let's break it down. The slimy barrier surrounding you are none other than the inner walls of a whale's stomach. Yes, it sounds bizarre, but stay with me. The question arises, is there any hope for survival, and more importantly, a chance to escape this unconventional prison? To answer that, we must first determine if it's even feasible for a whale to swallow a fully grown adult human. Believe it or not, experts suggest that certain whales, like the blue whale from the baleen subspecies, could indeed engulf a person whole. The baleen whale, one of the largest creatures to have ever roamed the seas, possesses the capacity to pull off such a feat. Now, armed with this peculiar knowledge, the burning question remains, can you make it out alive and find your way back to the open ocean? Let's unravel the possibilities and navigate the murky waters of survival within the belly of a whale. Over the vast expanse of Earth's multi-billion year history, life has evolved in fascinating ways, and understanding this history can be crucial for our survival. Now, let's delve into the specifics of our current situation. The baleen whale, a key player in this unique scenario, doesn't have teeth, so there's no worry about getting chewed up before a potential attempt to swallow you. To grasp the enormity of this sea giant, consider that most dinosaurs pale in comparison. These baleen whales, numbering in the billions, are mammals like us, reaching an astonishing length of 115 feet, 35 meters, and weighing a whopping 380,000 pounds, equivalent to about 40 African elephants. Wrap your head around this, just the tongue of a baleen whale can weigh as much as 3 tons, and its heart is larger than a golf cart. Picture this, the mouth of a baleen whale can accommodate a staggering 90 tons of food and water in one go. In a single slurp, it can suck up to 11,000 pounds, 500 kilograms, of plankton. Now, here's the eye-opener. This mammoth mouth could not only fit you, but also half the passengers from a Titanic-sized ship. However, as we navigate this colossal creature's anatomy, we hit a roadblock. The swallowing act concludes at the entrance to the whale's throat. The human body cannot progress beyond this point. Surprisingly, this gigantic creature's throat is no larger than the diameter of a golf ball, and physically incapable of swallowing anything larger than a small grapefruit. So, the notion of it considering a human being for lunch is unlikely, given its digestive tract is designed for much smaller prey. So, if you ever find yourself on an ill-fated sea voyage, rest assured that being swallowed by a baleen whale is not a concern as their colossal size doesn't align with an appetite for creatures as large as us. Picture this, you've experienced a shipwreck, and in the midst of chaos, you don't notice the massive blue whale approaching. Unbelievably, you might find yourself accidentally inside its enormous mouth, embarking on a journey that would undoubtedly be unforgettable, but not necessarily in a positive way. As you stumble into this unexpected adventure, the first thing you'll encounter is total darkness. Amidst a sea of small fish and plankton, the whale's chosen lunch, you'll be frantically trying to make sense of your surroundings. Once the giant creature filters out the water, you'll find yourself surrounded by a thick soup of these sea creatures. Now, here's the tricky part. The whale will attempt to swallow its meal, but as we've discussed earlier, you won't quite fit into its throat. According to Philip Matter, a researcher at the University of South Florida, the whale will likely just spit you out as if you were a small cherry pit. Surviving this unexpected adventure may bring relief, but true salvation is still a long way off. After its meal, the whale can dive to incredible depths up to 650 feet or 200 meters below sea level. So, even if you manage to avoid being a snack for the whale, you'll find yourself in a bit of a predicament if you don't have any plans for deep sea exploration. Imagine the vast depths of the ocean surrounding you, and the challenges you might face without proper preparation. 
The journey doesn't end with escaping the whale's mouth, there's a whole new world waiting below the surface. Heading into the deep sea without diving gear? That's a risky move. If you end up in the depths without equipment, drowning becomes a real concern. Fortunately, these underwater giants often digest their meals around 65 feet or 20 meters below the surface. In this scenario, if you muster all your strength to swim upwards, you might just make it to the surface for a breath of air. Who knows, the friendly whale might even give you a parting slap with its mighty tail fin. But, let's talk toothed whales, like orcas or sperm whales, a whole different ball game. These creatures are not only sizable. Sperm whales can reach 65 feet or 20 meters and weigh a whopping 110,000 pounds, but they have a unique way of handling prey. Their lower jaw swings down a whopping 90 degrees, and their throats are large enough to swallow sizable prey whole. No mere spitting out later, these whales can engulf entire seals and other animals without breaking a sweat. A human being? Well, that might just be on the menu for them. Unlike their baleen counterparts, toothed whales come equipped with sizable, sharp teeth, almost like steak knives. These tools make the journey into their mouths a perilous one. So, if you ever find yourself teetering on the edge of a toothed whale's territory, a hasty retreat might just be your best move. In the perilous realm of the sperm whale's mouth, there's a significant risk of encountering gruesome injuries from its formidable incisors. Numerous documented instances reveal how these dagger-like teeth have swiftly severed the limbs and even heads of whalers. Should fortune favor you, allowing entry without harm, your journey takes a relatively unscathed turn as you find yourself swallowed whole. Descending through the mucous membranes of the whale's digestive tract, you plunge into pitch darkness, landing within the gastric sac. This chamber, with its viscous and malodorous walls, is the whale's first stomach, mirroring the four-stomach system of a cow. Yet, this is likely where your extraordinary expedition meets its end. Your body begins a rapid disintegration and dissolution in the deadly bath of gastric juices, featuring the dreaded hydrochloric acid. As you succumb to the lack of air in the stomach, it's worth noting that while whales do possess gas pockets in their intestines, these are filled with noxious methane and do nothing to aid breathing. Despite numerous social media tales boasting successful journeys through whale stomachs, experts dismiss these accounts as attention-seeking and rating-boosting fabrications. Nonetheless, some documentary evidence traces back to 1896 when the New York Times reported a whaling expedition near the Falkland Islands. The ship, Star of the East, pursued a massive sperm whale, which, wounded by a harpoon, Retaliated by tearing apart one of the boats before escaping into the depths. Search the team could not find thee on a fateful day. A sailor named James Bartley found himself in a perilous situation after his boat met an unfortunate end, sinking into the depths of the ocean. Several hours later, the crew stumbled upon the lifeless body of a sperm whale, its fate sealed by a harpoon injury. As the crew began the task of carving up the massive creature, they made a startling discovery within its stomach, James Bartley the missing sailor. Remarkably, despite spending almost 16 hours inside the belly of the sea monster, James Batley was found unconscious but miraculously alive. However, the ordeal had taken its toll, his hands and face had acquired a deathly pallor due to the gastric juices, and he appeared more like a lifeless corpse than a living man. The skin on his body bore a network of wrinkles, as if he had endured being boiled alive in a colossal cauldron. In the subsequent fortnight, James Batley teetered on the brink of insanity. Unresponsive to his shipmates and seemingly oblivious to his surroundings, he gave no indication of recognizing those around him. It wasn't until the end of the third week that a positive change occurred, James Batley gradually regained his senses and began to recover. Soon enough, he was able to resume his duties on the ship. However, the remnants of his extraordinary experience lingered in the form of unnaturally pale skin on his face, neck, and hands, the areas left unprotected by clothing during his time inside the sperm whale. These pale patches served as a permanent reminder for James Bartley and all those who witnessed his incredible survival, telling a tale of a man who had once been swallowed whole by a leviathan from the deep. Surviving an ordeal like James Bartley did isn't just the stuff of legends. It caught the attention of zoologist Professor Ambrose Wilson in the late 1920s. 
Delving into the details, Wilson concluded that the sailor's survival within the whale's stomach was indeed plausible. In his research, he even stumbled upon a similar incident from 1771, hidden in ancient archives. A sperm whale had bitten a whaler's boat in half, swallowing a sailor whole. Miraculously, the whale later surfaced and spat out the unharmed but understandably terrified victim. Now, facing the unlikely scenario of finding oneself inside a whale's stomach, the first rule is to stay calm. Despite the potential lack of oxygen, panicking only accelerates the risk of suffocation. Identifying the type of whale is crucial, but it's no easy task from the inside. Concentrated hydrochloric acid in the stomach necessitates an immediate escape plan to avoid the disgust painful and deadly consequences for your skin. For toothed whales, navigating all four chambers of their stomach swiftly is essential, while toothless blue whales present a different challenge. As your acid-burned body approaches the throat, the real adventure begins. Remember, every move counts, and a rapid ascent up the esophagus is your best chance for survival in this unexpected and perilous circumstance. Escaping a whale's stomach may sound like a fantastical idea, but let's break it down. Picture this, you somehow shrink down to the size of a tennis ball to make your exit, sounds impossible, right? Well, it is. This scenario is just a way of highlighting the immense challenge of getting out. I had to mention it, maybe your pet cat or chihuahua could manage it, but for us regular-sized humans, it's a no-go. Now, if you find yourself inside a toothy sperm whale, getting into its mouth is the easy part. The real challenge begins when you have to navigate through a barricade of sharp, dagger-like teeth. Once you successfully make it through this dental obstacle course, congratulations! You're free, but possibly minus a hand or a leg, not exactly ideal for the upcoming swim to safety. However, let's be real here, the chances of even getting into a sperm whale's stomach intact are almost impossible. These ocean giants are pros at chewing their food thoroughly before sending it down for further digestion. To put it simply, your odds of surviving this wild adventure are incredibly slim. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.